Hello everybody. This is M M S M R. And as promised, I've come back a lot sooner than I did last time. Don't want to make you guys wait so much. And I wanted to take a minute to show you my latest nails. These are Halloween nails because as you can see, they are black and orange with gold little tiny traces of silver and then do you see the white part do you notice something they're little screaming faces two eyes and a mouth they're a little ghost saying boo and even though i can't show you right now um if i had the light that goes on and off when i clap i could but i unfortunately don't have that lamp but these ghosts glow in the dark i found nail polish that works really really well it's glow in the dark nail polish and I put it over the white part here so when the lights go out all these ghosts glow in the dark and I actually have my toes done the exact same way see and it was oh my god guys it was so hard to do the baby toe oh my goodness you have no idea I had to get a um, a toothpick to do that so anyway, what we're going to do today is we are going to do a color test and an eye exam. As usual, it's going to be a little untraditional, but it's very standard for my channel. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to have a clip of some art that I have recently finished. But I'm doing that at the very end of the clip, so if you're only interested in the ASMR, just watch the early part of it because this channel is about ASMR, not art, but I know some of you like to see my art, so I have a new piece to show you at the end of the video. But for now, let's just get into the color test. So here I have these little bottles of paint, and I'm turning them upside down just because you can see the colors better when they're upside down. So I'm going to get my pointer, and this has recently been christened the MM stick by one of my viewers, I think that's what we were calling it. So I'm going to get the trusty MM stick, the pointer, and we're going to count each of the little jars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 18 jars, so we have one, two, three rows, and on each row we have six jars, so six, twelve, eighteen in total. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to randomly point to the jars, and I want you to tell me which color you think each one is, okay? So let's begin. This one. Green, yes. Blue, mm -hmm. red, and this one. It's yellow, yes, and this one. Orange, okay. This one. Mm hmm. White. This one. I'll accept pink or purple. It's kind of a fuchsia, but I'll accept either answer. Can you see the difference between this yellow and this yellow? Which one is darker? This one. Very good. And what color is this? It's like a coral, but it also looks like a beige a skin color, skin tone, so I'll accept your answer. And what color is this? Mm hmm Green. This one? Also green. Oh, this one's green too. Um, now which green looks the darkest? Correct. Which one looks the second darkest? Good. And which one's the lightest? <laughs> Excellent. And how about the yellows? One, two, three yellows. And which yellow is the lightest? This one? Mm hmm And which is the, the second lightest? Yep. And the last. Okay, very good. Can you see the difference between 
this color and this color. Which one's lighter? Very good. And can you see the difference between this color and this color? Which one's darker? Excellent. And between this one and this one, which one's darker? Good. Between this one and this one, which one's lighter? Very good. And between this one and this one, which one's lighter? Very good. And between this one and this one, which one's darker? This one's very good. Okay, and which color is your favorite? Just for reference. Okay, I can see why you like that one. You can't ask me to pick a favorite color because I'm an artist who loves color. And you've seen my work, you know that. And I can't choose which color is my favorite because I love them all. So the next thing we're going to do is something a little untraditional. So this here is a plastic cake decoration. It looks supposed to look like balloons. You see? And the reason I kept this um, is because I'm a mixed media artist and I'm planning to use it in an art piece in the future somehow. Um, mixed media artists are like magpies. We kind of just like collect random stuff to put into art in the future. So this will have to go. But I thought that we could have some fun with this. So first and foremost, I want you to tell me how many colors do you see? See if you're right. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five colors. And which colors are they? I'm going to point to each one and you tell me what color. Yellow, yep. Mm hmm. Green. Blue, yep. Purple. And red. Okay. So I'm going to set this down. Now, what I'm going to do, put it like this. I am going to say a word. A very, look at the dust on it, my goodness, sorry about that. I'm going to say a very random word, like banana. And when I say banana, I want you to tell me what color most reminds you of a banana. So if I say banana, which color reminds you of banana here? Correct, yellow, okay. So I'm just going to say a couple of words, and I just want you to tell me which color you most associate, and then you tell me and I will point to it. So let's begin. Grass. Green. Very good. The ocean. Blue. Excellent. A stoplight. Mm -hmm. Red. Very good. A cherry. Red again. Yes. Um, the sun, yellow, very good. A leaf, green, excellent. A grape, purple, mm -hmm. although grapes can also be green, very true. A plum, purple, very good. Um, which two colors here are represented, actually, which colors are represented on the American flag? Red, blue, and the color we didn't pay any attention to before, white. Because even though this is not one of the balloons, it's still white. <laughs> and what colors are on the Brazilian flag? Yellow, blue, and green. Excellent. How about the Italian flag? Red, green, and white. Very good. Um, let's see. And the French flag is red, blue, and white. And the Canadian flag is red and white. The Great Britain flag, the Union Jack, is also red, blue, and white. You cannot make my country's flag. You can't make well, my my original country's so like you can't make Ireland because there's no orange. You'd have to mix the red and the yellow to make the orange. Orange. And we don't say orange in Ireland. We say it's gold. So gold, green, and white. <laughs> but you can't make it with this. Um, okay, so back to the game. How 
about a little girl's hair bow. What color do you think is the most likely? Probably purple. Your other hair bows would look pretty in any of these colors. And the sky on a clear day. Blue, excellent. And which of these colors do you think is your absolute favorite? I can see that. I love all colors, but I think on this particular decoration, I really like the red because it's just so bright. These actually make a really nice sound, too. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to do some tracing because the tracing seem to be really, really popular with you guys. I know some of you said you like the tapping. I'm going to tap for about five seconds and you tell me if you enjoyed this or not, okay? I'm gonna also do some scratching. <laughs> I feel like a cat. <laughs> So tell me if you enjoy this sound, and if so, I'll try to incorporate some more tapping on the paper without speaking in future videos. There's so many of you guys now, there's like nearly 700 of you, which is insane. So I'm trying to just see what everybody enjoys. So anyway, I'm going to start, I'm just going to trace some words. Actually, you know what? I'll trace some words, letters, shapes, and numbers so you won't know what I'm going to trace. And just tell me randomly what you think I'm tracing, okay? So let's begin. So, what's up? It's a question. I'm writing all in capitals. What's that? Shadow, yes, because I just noticed that there is a shadow across the page. I'm sorry about that. The lighting in here is not great. Okay. What's that word? Cafe. A square, yes. Okay. What word is that? Games, yes. I chose that one because I was just um, talking to one of you subscribers about how I love watching games. I love watching games walk through and gamers, but I don't play games, even though I love watching them. <laughs> um, okay, so. What's that? 427, yeah. And I have no reason for choosing that. It's just completely random. <laughs> And again, completely random. And what, did I just, what did I just draw? A smiley face. Yeah. Very good. And by the way, what word is that? Where? Yep. Who? And I think you can guess the last one. Why? Excellent. And those 
are the questions you ask yourself when you are writing a mystery. Which is something that I have done. some pens here. So firstly, I'm going to point to each one and you tell me what color it is, okay? Purple, orange, blue, green, pink, and yellow. Very good. So these are some random pens and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be placing a couple of them down and I just want you to tell me how many pens you see and what color they are, okay? So, One and it's purple. Very good. Two and yellow and pink. Very good. Three and they're blue, orange, and green. Excellent. Two and they're blue and yellow. Very good. Three and they're yellow, pink, and orange. Excellent. Four and they're pink, blue, orange, and green. Very good. Okay. All five, yes. <laughs> blue, pink, yellow, green, and blue, and orange. Excellent. No trouble with that. And then just tell me, very randomly, how many fingers am I holding up? Four. Yep. And now, two. Mm-hmm. Three. One. Eight. thing I'm going to do before we get into the art portion, which will also be kind of ASMR, but not like eye test or anything. You may select to keep watching or not keep watching after this part. It's up to you. I am bringing back the bunnies. So anybody that has watched my videos in the past has seen these bunnies. They're actually little crayons. But I'll never color with them or melt them because they're so, so cute. I got these at Easter and they're adorable. They make great sounds. I got them at the Dollar Tree and I was looking for more in different shapes around Halloween and didn't see anything. I mean, I'll go back hopefully this week and look to see. Hopefully at Christmas they'll have like some reindeer ones or something. But yeah, but these are so cute. They'll have like some reindeer ones or something. So we have a green bunny, a pink bunny, a purple bunny that looks really pink, but it's actually purple, Got a red bunny, a blue bunny, and a yellow bunny. So in total, using the MM stick, we have one, two, three, four, five, six bunnies. So I'm going to take the bunnies away, and I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, and when I ask you to open your eyes, you're going to tell me what bunny you see, what color, okay? So, close your eyes, close them out, keep them closed, keep them closed, and now open them. What color bunny do you see? Pink or purple? Yes. This is technically the purple bunny, but it does look so pink that I will accept that. 
Very good. Now close your eyes again. Keep them closed. And now open them. What color bunny do you see? Yellow. Very good. Now close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed and open them. What color do you see? Red. Yes. Thank you. Close your eyes again. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Open them. What color do you see? Green. Excellent. Now close your eyes again. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Now open them. What color do you see? It's a blue one. Yep, the blue one. Now close your eyes again. Keep them closed. And try to think of which one you haven't seen. And now, open them. And what color do you see? Pink. Yes, this is actually the pink bunny. Again, this is the pink one. This is the purple one. But they both look pink. So, you found all of the bunnies. And they're very cute. They can't stay off of one another, but they're rabbits, what do you expect? But they're very cute. And there's nothing wrong with you like color, the ability to see color as usual. So thank you for watching this video. If you are not interested in anything to do with art, then you can stop watching right here. If you are among my subscribers that enjoys watching my art videos, then I am going to show you something kind of interesting right now. So for those of you that just wanted to watch the ASMR, the traditional ASMR, I hope you have a really good night and thank you for watching. Now, for those of you that want to stay on and watch this video for the art component, every year, well, for the last two years now, last year, I have taken part in a wreath show here in New York that happens around Christmas. So basically in this show, every artist creates a wreath, which is a circular, typically a circular piece of art that, you know, looks like a wreath and was, you know, inspired by something. And in this show, we get many different types of wreaths. We've had wreaths that are made out of everything from um, fake, like, prosthetic ears, to handcuffs, to flowers. Um, people have made wreaths of twigs that look very, like, natural and traditional. People have made wreaths out of um, seashells. I mean, it's amazing, some of the ideas. So last year, I entered my very first wreath ever. And it was based on toys. And the wreath sold to a buyer for $250. So I do not have the wreath to show you. But I'm going to show you a picture of it. And the reason I'm doing this is because last year, the wreath I made was a toy wreath. This year, I made a candy wreath. And I have it completed in my house. And I'm going to show it to you later. And show off some pieces it with the pointer. But for now, let me show you the original piece that sold. Now, obviously, I don't have this piece, so I'm just going to show it to you. This is my mother's cell phone, and I'm sorry for the quality, but let's zoom in. So this is what the wreath look like. And again, the colors are a bit off, but there's not much I can do about that, guys. I'm sorry. So the center of the wreath, this wreath was about 16 inches wide. So the center was painted gold, and then in the background I had red and green holographic foil because it was a Christmas foil because it was a Christmas show. 
And then all around three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen boxes. Each containing toys. So in the center, I found at Annika. I actually found this at like a yard sale. It was this little like Christmas um decoration. I don't know whether it was meant to originally be like a for a table, a table setting, or for a jar. But it had all these cute little Christmas trees on it. So I put this in the center of the wreath and I surrounded it with presents. And the presents were red and blue and green and silver. And they have gold ribbons. And then on the top of the circular part and on the bottom, I have two trains. Kind of the way that you can get trains of circular leaf, you know, a circular Christmas tree. And we had the engine car, which was blue. And then one, two, three cabs, which were red and yellow and green. And then the little blue caboose. And then up here you have the same thing. Just the train is going a different direction, or the same direction, just, you know, following. So the engine is following the caboose in a continuous circle. And then I also had a car and planes. So we had a red car here, a green car here, and a red car here, and a green plane here, and a red plane here. And these actually came in sets of four, so there was also a blue car and a yellow car and a blue plane and a yellow plane and I put them on the outside of the wreath I'm not going to be talking about that soon I just wanted the red and green ones in the center because again it you know was representational of Christmas so up here we had the yellow car which was on the outside of the boxes containing all the toys and then on this box we had a little purple jack on this box we had two teddy bears a pink one and a green and blue one up here we had a big blue dice. Here is the blue plane. This was a bunch of Legos. This is a green jack. A yellow dice. Out here is the blue car. Then on top here, this is really hard to see, but on top here were little chess pieces. A black one and a gold, a black one and a white one, or a cream one. Then we had an orange um, dice. This is the yellow plane, even though it looks red. It had, a re it had red on the bottom, but it is the yellow plane. And then up here we have a little toy dinosaur. And then over here was a little pink top, like a spinning top. I don't know if that's showing up, but yeah. So then, and then we're back to the yellow car. So that was outside on the perimeter of the reef. And then each side, inside each little box, um, it was interesting because what I did is that each of these boxes was a different color. So I believe there were six color boxes. It was a black box, um, well let's count, it was a black box, a red box, an orange box, a green box, a blue box, a purple box, a pink box, and a clear box. No, so there were eight boxes. So I had 14 boxes in total, so a couple of the colors repeated. But then what I did, each of these boxes was made with like a transparent material, like a transparent plastic. So I actually put glitter at the back of every single box. So you see this one has blue glitter in the back. The one here with the duck had um, black glitter. This one had green glitter. This one had white glitter. Each, this one had silver glitter. Each one of these boxes was glittered in the back just to add some extra pizzazz. And then inside each box, I put a specific type of toy. So for example, at the top one here, cause this was the top of the reef cause the wire where it hung was right back here. So this was a duck, and these were two little dolls, and this one represents a rubber ducky, obviously, and these were two little dolls. And then in here we had playing cards and little dice, all different colors. Then in here we had chess pieces, and um, two little squares that represent checkers. In here we had two yo-yos and two marbles. In here we had a whole bunch of crayons in different colors. In here we had Legos, and, and um, Lego Duplo, and the Legos for little kids. In here we have a top, like a spinning top that's orange, actually two spinning tops, 
And then if you can see in the back, we also have puzzle pieces to represent puzzles. Here we have a slinky with a little troll in front of it. And in this box we have dominoes and a little football or soccer ball. Then in here we have a bouncy ball and some jacks, which represent playing jacks. In here we have Play-Doh and Silly Putty. And this is actually a little ball of Silly of Play-Doh all mixed together, different colors. If you're wondering what that is. Then in here we have a teddy bear, a fuzzy teddy bear, with two more of these little plastic teddy bears. Two here, just like up here. And then in here we have three dinosaurs. Little plastic dinosaurs. Oh, and behind the dinosaur, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, there's a little soldier. Like a toy soldier. So, lots of different types of toys. This wreath was called Toy Cycle, and it got a lot of attention, and I was so delighted that it actually sold on the shelf. So then I decided that this year I was going to make a candy wreath. And the candy wreath, I am going to be able to take you outside and show you. So, I'm going to show you what that looks like in real life and I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, so now we are quote unquote outside in the living room and I have this piece on the table. It's very, it's newly finished. It should be completely dry at this point though, but anyway, I wanted to show it. This is the candy wreath. And this is the piece I am submitting this year. I have no idea if it's going to be accepted or not. But as you can see, it looks kind of like the other wreath. Um, except the boxes are circular instead of square. And there's obviously all candy. So I'm going to be zooming in and showing you a little bit more. This stuff is way more tissue than I normally do. I normally stick to, um, you know, abstract art. You guys have seen that. But for this particular show, I think it's cute to do stuff like this, you know, like the toy wreath was really successful, so I'm hoping the candy one will be too. And if you see movement out of the corner, yes, I have the M&M stick. And if you see movement out of the corner of your eye there, it's because there is some movement that there is Mina. Mina, my cat, one of my cats, but she's not looking up. Oh, there she is. Mina, say hello. <laughs> okay, so hopefully she doesn't jump on the table. Okay, so this one is called Candylicious, So Delicious. And the first thing I wanted to point out, the um, the bottom half of the reef. Remember I showed you that the other reef was all red and green? Well, this one, because it's a candy wreath, there's foil paper under here. And the foil paper is all different colors. It's blue, it's pink, it's green, it's gold, it's silver. And... Um, the outside of the wreath, you know the way that the candy wreath had all different types of toys on the outside? This one doesn't have different color toys on the outside. This one only has gumdrops on the outside. So on the outside of every single one here, are just different color gumdrops. And Mina. She did come on the table. Shoot. Okay. So when this wreath is hung up... Mina, get out of the way. <laughs> when this wreath is hung up... Um, this is going to be the top part. Mina, <laughs> this is going to be, sorry. This is going to be the top part. So when it's hung up, this little cupcake, and this is a plastic cupcake, um, it will be the, the top part of the wreath. Mina, this is not funny. And then if you look inside, I've taken these little circular, um, boxes, and I've coated them with glitter, just like I did with the last wreath. Um, the glitter is all like pastel -y type color glitter. So for example, this one is yellow, in here it's pink, in here it's green, in here it's purple, and in here it's blue. Although you can't really see the blue, you can actually see the blue a little bit better on this side here. Um, so we have those, uh, the glitter is in the background. But for this one we have this um, cute little cupcake. And then M&M's on the inside, and all the candy that, any candy that is not wrapped, including these gumdrops, has been coated with, is either plastic, or has been coated with resin. So don't worry, it's not going to rot or go bad. Like, these lollipops are real, but they're coated with resin, so they are not going to get sticky or attract bugs or anything. I was very careful when I made this wreath of that. 
Then if we go over to this section here, we have a Butterfingers, a Crunch Bar, and Jolly Ranchers, and a Lollipop. Here we have Gold Coin Candy, we have the Toblerone, a Lollipop, and then we have this little plastic um, ice cream that I got somewhere. I don't even know where, so I just threw it underneath. And in the bottom here we have a Jelly Bean. Then we have two Lollipops here. We have, these are, um, you know, the, um, the gummy candies, which have been completely coated with resin, so don't worry, they just feel like hard plastic at this point. And then we have a little bit of a candy cane, and then an Easter Good Bar. And then in this one, which is crazy, we have pixie sticks. Lots of different pixie sticks. We have bubble gum. We have airheads. We have a lollipop. And then we have these jelly beans. And then if we come over here, um, and I should be saying I, I noticed that even with the other wreath, I was like, and we have candy in here. I should have been saying I have candy in here, I put candy, but I'm including you <laughs> in this. So we're in this together now. So um, in this one, there's Baby Ruth, Snickers, Milky Way, Kit Kats, a lollipop. And then this is a, um, my mind is going... This is a ring pop, and this ring pop has been thoroughly, thoroughly coated with resin, and um, it's not going anywhere. It's been thoroughly, thoroughly coated, and some of the resin like pooled at the top, so I just covered it with nail polish. That's why it's a little bit shiny at that one section, but it catches the light, so I don't care. In this box, there's a lollipop, a Musketeers, a Milky Way, two hearts from um, Valentine's Day. Um, they were just wrapped up and I don't, I don't even remember where I like found them. I found them in some candy store and I just picked them up. And then a Reese's Pieces. And then this is like a little strawberry candy. I just love the colors. Now this is the bottom of the wreath. So you see the way that there was a cupcake at the top here? This is another plastic cupcake at the bottom here. And it is surrounded by two peppermints two red peppermints and a green peppermint up here. These again, completely coated with resin. And then these are gummy bears, and these are actually plastic. They're not even real. But yeah, they're all different colors. And then over here we have a lollipop, a Hershey bar, a Kit Kat, and some Pez. And then in here we have a Push Pop, another Reese's, lots of jelly beans, um, Two lollipops and Hershey Kisses. Up here, there is Laffy Taffy, a lot of different Laffy Taffies. Starburst, another um, candy cane piece, and lollipop. I wanted lollipops to pretty much be in every section. <laughs> then here we have Ferrero Rocher, which are really good, expensive chocolates. I love these. Uh, Skittles, a Twix. This is a Swedish fish, which has been covered in resin. Lollipops, more, another um, Skittle, and then, of course, more pixie sticks. Over here we have another lollipop. We have Tootsie Rolls, Smarties, miniature nerd boxes, and candy corn, which again, all coated. And then here we have two lollipops and warheads. And then, if you look in the center of the reef, in the center, we have these. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of these um, pieces of ice cream, which are actually just plastic toys. And then we have one, two, three plastic donuts. And if you look on the inside, we have M&Ms. And I made sure that the red and the green m and stuck out in particular, because again, this is a show that goes on around Christmas. And then in this here, this here is a plastic cake, like from a child's playset. So I actually, when I got it, it was mostly just white, so I just painted it with nail polish to give it some nice colors. And then this is just like a little marble I found, and I put that in the center to represent it, um, a cherry. And then I have, I found these really cool candles pink one, and a yellow one, and a blue one, and a green one, and they swirl, and they just look so cool that I made them, like the centerpiece. And then down here, this is a Tootsie Roll, and a Hershey Kiss on top of it, and we have three of them. And then all around the base, I have Lifesavers with a gumdrop on top, 
or lifesavers with a gum below on top, and then gum drops. And these are not real, they, um, they're plastic, but they don't look real. Um, these are real, and they're coated with resin. Oh, I remember. So we have a yellow gum below on a red uh, lifesaver, and then we have a clear lifesaver with a purple gum below, a green lifesaver with a red gum below, an orange lifesaver with a green gum below, a purple lifesaver with an orange gum below, a clear lifesaver again with a red gum below, and then we have um, these little what do you call it? Gum drops. So we have a purple gum drop, a green gum drop, a red gum drop, a yellow gum drop, a white gum drop, and an orange gum drop. And that makes up this entire thing, which is called can so delicious. Can delicious. So I have not submitted this to the show yet, but I am hoping that it uh, gets accepted. It is wired on the back. It can hang on the wall just like the other wreath. The only reason it's not hanging right now is just because it was so much easier for me to show you it when it was on the table. So thank you for watching and checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed this and like seeing my art, even though this is definitely not like my standard abstract art. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.